Hello, not here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. We are standing in Zana's hideout. Well, not her hideout, but in the crumbled laboratory where her daily quests are. And I figured this would be a, a nice diversion as well. We have to enter the map and slay a corrupted boss. It's gonna be the Necropolis, which I think is a, a bit of a higher tier as well. A variation of the crypt. And it's a level 73 area. I believe that maps to tier 6. So given that the previous map we played was a tier 2. This is a bit of a step up. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to hold up. But I believe it's going to be fun. The area is inhabited by sea witches and their spawn. And slaying enemies close together can attract monsters from beyond. Oh, that's an interesting combo. There's a lot of sea witch spawns. And monsters from beyond are hilariously fun and powerful also monster pack size has been increased this could be fun we might face my eternal nemesis mr haast the slayer of hardcore characters even if we don't face a haast his uh, buddies bamet and naom no um something something bending stone they are and not messing around either. Oh, there's a bunch of. Uh, ooh. So, as I said, worshippers of Pamet. I think I just. Uh, gonna bow out here for a bit. Hello, there you go. Grave, my old ravager. So, someone killed my gun. And he's gone. Right. And that is this uh, cleared. I now I've probably said said it multiple times, but I really do like Beyond as a as a modifier. Um, no, there, there's a couple of, of leagues that I I missed because I, I played. Path of Exile really early on in the, the original closed beta. Um, it's it's the reason why this little kiwi is still following me around all the time on my main character because that's one of the empty access that you got for getting a, a supporter pack back then. And no, so, uh, yeah, as a hardcore player coming from uh, Diablo 2 and la later on uh, Diablo 3. I played Path of Exile on the Hardcore as well, and initially it was not entirely balanced, or maybe, no, I, I really had to learn to appreciate how Hardcore, Hardcore is in Path of Exile. That gave us almost 300 points of health, that's nice. So, yeah, I... I, I I had to uh, learn to appreciate that. So no, I, I played it and then uh, me and my uh, group of Diablo players decided, oh, you know what, Path of Exile, we, we gave it a try. But it was, at that point, it wasn't the, the game for us. And we went back to Diablo 2, Diablo 3. Um, but games like that. Eventually though, I, I did return to Path of Exile and currently it is my main game. But I, I did miss out on, on quite a bunch of, of the big leagues um, that I didn't really, really play actively. And Beyond is one of those leagues that I never played actively while it was there. So I don't know what the experience was during that league. But I do know that afterwards, that that's no, uh, whenever there's a flashback league or uh, whenever I get a map that has been enhanced with bloodlines, I really enjoy it. Or not bloodlines, but uh, beyond. Well, bloodlines, there is a bloodline that makes them uh, summon a, a demon from beyond. So every once in a while you are lucky in that regard. Okay, so we cleared down here, we cleared there. Those rooms are all from there. So good, so we only have this way which is not a way forward so we only have this so it's, so far it's it's rather efficient that's good let's uh, uh 
try to keep an eye out for when we get the curse and just uh, counter it. I have to admit I do regret putting curse removal on my basalt flask because basalt flasks don't really have a lot of charges. They are not really meant to be drunk quite a bit so putting curse removal on there might not be the best of ideas. Mervale's uh, daughters. So I wonder if the summoned spawns don't cause uh, too many of these blood orbs, or if it's the fact that we are exploding a lot of corpses that. No, there was an explosion here and we do get one. So it, may, it might just be chance based or something. The lover and a blink arrow. Cool. Okay. Sanguine blood of hast. Hast, buddy, are you here? Are you gonna be summoned here? Or is this not gonna be a hast kind of day? Okay. So I currently my sulfur flask, which you can drink multiple times from, has a freeze and chill removal, which is something you don't use all that often. So I probably should look to uh, flip these around so curse removal goes on sulfur and freeze removal goes on basalt that way i can use the curse removal a bit more liberally and on top of that i gain a bit of a damage boost a bit more often something came out Tzetog. which always makes me think of scenes rather than Tzetog. I wonder if the inspiration is there as well. Because of course, most of the time, demon names, they are references to other demons from other mythical settings. Spiders. Hello. Ooh, more hast things. And there is some uh, lightning things going on. On a page. Totem down. Cone of Age inflicts curse, but it won't fall off. That's a problem. But they'll inflict temp change, which I also inflict upon my opponents. So now there is a bit of a the righteous vengeance, so to say, in, in them applying it back to me. But on the other hand, nobody ever said that this game ought to be fair. Least of all, the mobs don't seem to be playing by that role. Blood of Haast, uh, and a lightning thing, Immortal Call. Yeah, we can pump it one more time, and then that's gonna be it. Okay, have a totem. Oh, someone tried to Mark me again with the iron cannon. I mean the orbital lightning laser things. Ooh, we have 19 stacks and now we're <laughs> losing out a bit. Molten shell is good where it is. Ooh, Order of the frozen sky. What a surprise. For that, I did take a sip from my freeze removal just to prevent getting frozen. Also, I got cursed. But let's keep pushing this side. We know we have there to push, but this way we'll just uh, push one direction. Well, we're being attacked. We can't stand. Let this stand unpunished. Okay, then we'll take this side. If they insist, we will oblige. There are some orbs forming, but not enough. There are some curses coming in. Ooh, blood of haste. Travels favored. Okay, we didn't get a demon spawn here. Would be nice if we get at least one demon spawn. At least one. It's always a, it feels like a, a waste 
of a perfectly good beyond map if you don't get a demon spawn. And all these squid definitely is a, a good way. Okay, zealous of Tsatosh. Something is hurting. Yeah, but you are just just a regular mob. And I'm using the word just a regular mob or yellow uh, lightly here. See, you hurt. He really did hurt. And I did have both my basalt and my granite flask up. And still, he, he inflicted quite some pain. Hey, spiders. Uh, I think I did see a ghost, but I don't really want to pursue a ghost with a bunch of mobs behind me. Just to be slightly cautious about things. And no, that's fine. Okay, and there. Let's have a spice touch. Okay, getting pursued on multiple angles, I'm not entirely happy about that. Agony Lash, the Scurrilius. It's not even a real word, Scurrilius. Is that that you are really prone to scurrying? So then another name could be the mouse-like. That would imply that they are not really brave. But really cute. Because mice are cute. Slimy nemesis. Ooh, a bunch more. There's some cursing going on here. That's fast up the myth. You are rather aggressive. Hexproof, chaos damage, or uh, stuff like that. Uh, fun. Hexproof. Unfortunately, there's only one way to stop it, and that's a, a unique item I currently do not possess. Nor do I have uh, the funds to uh, buy it. Okay. Uh, if they are gonna come in. Oh, fanatic if if Fiji. Flames. Uh, right. There's a lot of stuff going on here now. Let's backtrack a little bit so we can just face them all from one side again. Mamet, shifting darkness. Wait, I didn't really want to face him. Okay, basalt is up. Oh, you are going to be my life source. Okay. Hey, this is annoying. What is that? Oh, temp change. That's always good to upgrade. Kill more of these. Oh god, more, more. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's hide items. Make it slightly easier to see what the heck is going on here. Okay, so Bomet, we're slowly dealing with him. Oh, he's him being an archer. That's okay. He scales immune and just scales damage. That's pretty cool. They kept ripping through my golem. But at least we faced down one demon in a what's effectively a tier 6 map. And we won. Well, won. We didn't die. What's that? Oh, a Fiji. Cool. We got another one. What? <laughs> what is even happening anymore? Uh, wow. Come on, man. Okay, we took down Fiji or Effigy or however you want to call him. Okay, I'm ready. I want more. I want more. Haast, show yourself. I'm calling you out, man. Get over here. 
course, he's not gonna show. Whoa, whoa, something is happening there. Golden. So, flicker striking worshippers of Bameth. Sure, fine. Fractured, that's gonna be fun. So he gains power charges. Yeah, that doesn't help. And something big and then a split. Oh, items. Ooh, items. Ah. No items. Spotter knife. Alright, let's take a very first break and empty our pockets. This is this is how maps are are supposed to be, exciting but fair. Because these bosses they push your life, they they force you to make strategic withdrawals. But you're never really under the impression that you can't handle it with careful play. Rather than one hit, boom, you're dead. By the way, I'm a book. Screw you. Yeah, I'm still slightly bitter about that. But yeah, at least the beyond demons have had some time to be balanced and now they're just simply fun part of the game. And I really enjoy it. Get over here, everybody. I'll just make this into a corridor of doom. And hopefully of demon summoning. This looks like it might lead to a boss room or something. It's, it's off to the side far enough that I wouldn't be surprised. Just felt like to build up to a room. Apparently, this is just a just a corridor. Okay, we have some fun going on. Bile of Ravager. Nice, clean little circle, and then you get back to where you are. That's very nice. The veils of favorites. Oh, and a sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, because boss fight, I might as well just put a portal down. Just to see where this is going. Because could this be the caster skeleton thing? No, it's actually Merveil. With a ton of add ons. Oh god, this is, could be hilarious if we get a, a demon spawn here. Oh, what's better than Merveil? Merveil plus Haast. So Haast is the demon of frost. Uh, volatile Ice Claw. Yeah, I don't want to stand next to the Volatile when it goes off. Thank you very much. Also, let's hide items. Focus on the important bits. Merveil, the reflection. Also, I'm on my goal. You hurt quite a bit more than you would want her to. And again, level 73. She's supposed to hurt. Okay. Totem, golem. problem of bosses that do relatively much damage in a short while is that we don't really have a lot of time to build up uh, life leech stacks. So as a result we take a lot of damage but we don't really have the opportunity to replenish. But you no, know, 
put some repositioning. We definitely can deal with this. Okay, that's the first wave. I'm picking up random items, I think. Actually, I'm not. That's good. Golem, totem. Let's clear a little bit. My veil. Pissed off. Well, even more than usual. She's never really one of the, the happiest uh, characters. Also, what's the blue stack stuff? I like this. She's doable. She's just venting her rage on my summons. And not putting me in the middle of one of those pillars of water. Oh, that's the screech. So that's a reduced movement speed. Okay, fine. Okay, air of the storm, air of the flame. They hurt. Oh, they hurt. They hurt more than Merveil. I believe after normal difficulty you actually get these as add-ons in the normal fight as well. During the, the leveling process. Okay, uh, lightning definitely hurts. Yeah, of course, there's shock potential. And shock hurts, as you found out recently. Well, or as I found out recently. Okay, we got this air dealt with. Totem and golem. Oh, let's not stand in the water, please. Golem resummoning time. Totem, put it on the other side so wave attacks don't go towards me. And that was Merveil. Time to unveil all the items. So she was corrupted apparently. That's why we had to kill her. Also, that was the. Oh, wait, we can just return without talking to Zana. That's still gonna be good. I was gonna say I accidentally messed up the, the mission, but I didn't. So you Until you talk with Zana, you still can come in and out and just empty your pockets. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, Crump Laboratory. Then next up. Because we still have a bunch of mobs to kill and see if we can summon a demon. What happened here? Why is there so many dead squid? I don't think I did that. The map was unexplored. Or was that the golem? Always the, the golems. Murderous, yet quiet. It's the quiet ones. As they say, right? It's the quiet ones that you have to keep an eye out for. Because you never know what to do. Worshipper of Bameth. Whoop. That's a lot of lightning. Holy moly. Storm Heralds. Definitely are a Storm Herald. Okay. Quiet you down. Ah, a fording. But six sockets. So that's why it has this nice shiny red color. Still more than 50 mobs remaining. That is nice. Means there's still an opportunity to spawn yet another demon. Oh, even if we don't spawn another demon, we have done a pretty good job as a as a cultist here, so to say. We summoned two demons. Thank you, them, but we summoned them. That, that kind of makes us a cultist, right? Oh, stuff's happening. Stop slaying, and everything's gonna be alright. Uh, then it room. Yep, backtrack a, a little bit. Let's just double check. We cleared everything over here, right? Yeah, so this wing seems to be the last bits. Oh, and beetle behind us. Okay. 
potions here. Sure. That's a lot of squids. Yeah, man. Keep bringing them. Okay, please come on, bring them. We killed them enough in the same space. Yeah, we got one spawn here. 50 mobs raining. This is an extensive map. I approve. Oh, squiddies. Heralds of the Obelisk. Oh, that's gonna be hilariously painful. Kill them all at once. That worked. <laughs> you don't get any obelisks. Summoner. Nice. Of course, because it's a, a, a crypt, necro, whatever base. Technically necropolis, but it looks like the crypt. They all have the, the necromancer cards that can drop because of a shared a theme. 28 remaining. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit unexplored over there. Uh, let's see if we get there from here. There. Okay. And that was the last of it. No more demons. We did manage to get two of them, Bameth and Fiji, or a Fiji. Sounds like Fiji. It's both a tropical island and a kind of apples. Oh, I, think, I think with all the, the lighting that was going on, doesn't really remind me of either. Anyway, this was a really fun map. And difficulty level wise, tier six. We can run it with a Level 72 um, Lacerator, which has way too little life, but we're still able, able to do this. So I'm actually tempted to see if we can go for Doreso and Malakai already. I mean, if we can run tier 6 content, we should be able to deal with the bosses or completely get murdered. Either way, it's going to be hilarious. So, next episode, if we start off going for Dresso and Malakai, then I think the plan worked. If we're gonna run another map, then I might have tried it in between and failed miserably in a not very entertaining way. Either way, I will see you again next time. Bye bye.